there are various different types of torque wrench that you can uh, get for working on vehicles. Uh, we tend to use the more modern uh, tech angles by snap-on because they are nice to use and easy to use. Uh, there is a traditional type torque wrench which has a collar and you wind the torque up on a scale there and then there are torque wrenches like this which I wouldn't recommend anybody uses which I'm going to demonstrate now. Um, this is a wheel nut, uh, a wheel that needs torquing up. They want torquing to 88 newton meters. Unfortunately this doesn't have newton meters but it is approximately it's 64.9 uh, foot pounds which can be show, seen on the display just there. I'm actually going to tighten it up to 60 foot pounds uh, because I'm going to finish it off with the digital torque wrench. To use one of these you put the socket on like usual and as you turn it and apply pressure the lever will travel up the scale. The more pressure it's got, the further the lever goes up. And at the moment, that is hovering because it's not too accurate it was wobbling it was hovering at 60 foot pounds i'm just going to repeat on the diagonally opposite this torque wrench is set at 88 newton meters it has different units and in foot pounds it's showing 64.9 I'm going to repeat on the same bolts this one was moving before we got up to the 65 this one is tight enough uh, it hasn't started moving and we're on 65.3. Um, that shows how the uh, spring-loaded torque wrenches are not too accurate. These are extremely nice to use because you have a scale so as you tighten it up the tighter it gets the more lights light up. when you've got three you're nearly there and you keep pushing until you get green lights and I've pulled 65 foot pounds which flashes up on the screen and shows you how tight it is which is 0.1 over what it needs to it also has a counter unfortunately we've used it already on the same setting and it tells me I've tightened seven bolts at that torque. The other type of torque wrench is a more popular uh, type and this is a micrometer type for tightening up and the way this is done is you push the collar forward and spin the handle and there's a scale up the side of the torque wrench and there's numbers around there so we're currently we've passed 70 and we need 18 on top of 70 
so this is 88 newton meters and as you tighten up you get no warning whatsoever until you get that click once it's clicked that's tight enough when you've used one of the micrometer types you always wind it off to zero uh, and this takes all tension off springs etc that are inside that makes it click um, these are very adequate torque wrenches uh, and it's what we used to use until the digital ones came out uh, the downsides to it is you have to wind it off every time you've used it and uh, you only get one scale uh, occasionally two because you may have a scale on the back side but normally because of the readings on the front that can't be done um, but we always recommend the digital ones and to make sure all our nuts and bolts are torqued correctly other than the first one that we've shown you uh, which was purchased just for a demonstration on this job uh, every torque wrench we have is recalibrated every year to make sure that it's reading correctly